Now for more on the good news from Congo, Dr. Ibrahim Sosifal, Emergency Response Director for the World Health Organization, Africa Regional Office, joins me live via Skype from Brazzaville. Good evening, Dr. Fall. Good evening, Vincent. Now, please give us just a quick preview of what has led to this success, particularly in that region. Thank you very much. Let me first of all congratulate the Democratic Republic of Congo for this rapid response. I think it was important for the country to be transparent and report as soon as possible, as soon as the outbreak was confirmed. So it allows WHO and partners to come on board from the first day to mourn this massive response. So we were able to coordinate this massive response with a number of partners and to deploy express from all over the place within a few days. So it was really important to ensure that all partners are working under the leadership of the government around one plan and to respond to the outbreak both in the urban center and in the most remote areas. Yes. Now, was the vaccine the key to containing this uh, recent outbreak? Uh, and, and, and what else can you associate with the success in the DRC's outbreaks in the past? I think the vaccine was an important tool because for the first time we are using it for intervention. If you look at the 3,300 something people vaccinated, none of them developed uh, Ebola. But, and they were all at high risk, meaning that the, the vaccine may have played an important role. We are still documenting. But in addition, in addition to the vaccine, we have used traditional action like contact tracing, active case searching, rapid isolation and treatment, and also making sure that people are not infected from the hospital by making sure that infection prevention and control is on the way. What are the main lessons uh, that have been learned from this particular outbreak? I think in terms of lesson learned, we need to highlight again the rapid declaration of the outbreak by the Congolese government in line with the international health regulation and allowing partners, WHO and other partners to come on board as soon as possible and to work together like one team in all areas affected. I think this was crucial to have everybody working together in a very well-coordinated manner. Now, you said there was a quick, uh, really rapid response. Uh, do you see this being able to be replicated in other parts in case there is an outbreak of Ebola? Yeah, this is important because we follow what happened after West Africa outbreak. WHO went through a deep reform for the work on emergencies so now, meaning that you have mechanism to deploy on to people and to release funds to start rapid response when outbreak is declared. It had been done last year in Likati, but it was less complex. This one is more, more complex, but now you have a program which is really responsive and we are working closely with countries to make sure that we can rapidly detect and respond to all type of outbreaks and emergencies. So quickly, what, what, what do you say is the role of any government that finds itself in this situation? I think the role of governments is extremely important because if the country doesn't declare early enough the emergency or the outbreak, it will be difficult for partners to come on board. And this is an obligation under the international health regulation. So once again, really, we really want to congratulate the Congolese government and uh, hope that all countries will do the same when they have any specific health problems. Now, you said that, uh, of course, they, they, they did the last test twice and verified after 42 days. Are there possibilities of people who probably went and died somewhere far and nobody knows why they died? and perhaps it was Ebola? We had teams in all the hotspots and going to the most remote villages for active surveillance and active case funding. So we believe that this outbreak is over. It doesn't mean that the risk of Ebola doesn't exist anymore in Congo. We know yeah. that because of the ecology, the environment, the yeah. risk is still there. But it's important to continue to work with the country to reinforce the capacity for surveillance yeah. and rapid yeah. detection for any new outbreak. Thank you very much, Dr. Fall. Uh, Thank you. Dr. Ibrahim Sosia Fall uh, is the response, emergency response director, World Health Organization's Africa Regional Office.